It's time for a good old classic fly ride showdown. A face off of sorts where we ride and compare two bikes back to back to see which one comes out on top. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The two EMTBs that we have lined up for our first showdown just happen to be two of our top selling models. One being the 2022 Mondraker Crafty R and the other being the 2022 Specialized Levo Comp Alloy. Now, before we see these two hit the trails, let's spotlight a few of their key similarities as well as their differences. Starting off with their similarities, both models offer a suspension platform with 160 millimeters of travel up front and 150 millimeters of rear travel featuring the Fox Flodex. Next, they both do come with SRAM GX Eagle 12 speed where the Levo has a 10 to 52 tooth cassette and the Mondraker has the 11 to 50. If you're looking for the most up-to-date pricing and deals to be found on both the Levo and the Crafty, you can find that at the link in the description. Moving on to the differences, we are gonna start up at the fork on the Comp Alloy, which comes with a 36 rhythm, which with its 160 millimeters of travel and 36 millimeter stanchions is going to be more intended for the trail slash all mountain rider. The Crafty R on the other hand comes spec'd with a Fox 38 performance, and while still having 160 millimeters of travel, which is considered to be trail slash all mountain, the stiffer 38 millimeter stanchions will lend itself to a more enduro capable platform for the aggressive rider. Moving down to the wheel set, it's pretty well known that the Levo Comp Alloy runs the mullet setup and the Crafty R is a full 29er. The last main difference in spec comes up at the brakes where the Levo has a set of SRAM Code R and the Crafty R has a set of SRAM G2 R. Now, this might be a controversial or unpopular opinion, but for me, I do not see much of a difference here in brake spec. I mean, tomato, tomato, as they say. I've owned Code R's in the past. I've also spent a lot of time on the G2 R's, and for me, eh, that's where I'm at. I will, however, note that the Levo does come with a 220 millimeter rotor up front, which is pretty awesome to see on the size S4 and up. Now let's jump over to what really differentiates these two bikes, which is the drive unit and the geometry. Starting off with the Levo, as most of you know, it comes spec'd with a specialized 2.2 motor, AKA the Bros S-Mag and outputs 90 Newton meters of torque. I like to joke around and call it the turbo diesel of e-bike motors. I mean, it isn't as high cadence dependent as others. It can handle a lower RPM while still providing a high output, Moving over to the Crafty R, we see the brand new Bosch Smart System, and you're gonna see it outputting 85 Newton meters of torque. And it did see some good changes this year, like a 64-bit processor, which is gonna transfer and receive data faster than ever before. So that's gonna lead to a much more responsive ride. I mean, this motor is incredibly responsive, and you feel absolutely every ounce of pressure that you put through the pedals. When you combine that responsive motor with Mondraker zero suspension, it is truly a match made in heaven. The zero suspension likes to sit a little bit higher in the travel and it's gonna be very supportive and there's not gonna be a lot of pedal bob, especially through the technical climb. Let's take a step back now and look at the geometry. Comparing both side by side, the Levo is gonna be on the shorter end with shorter chain stays, a shorter wheelbase, and a shorter seat tube. It's gonna have a slightly slacker head tube angle, whereas you jump over to the Crafty and it's gonna have a longer wheelbase, a longer chain stay. It's also gonna have a significantly larger reach in the size larges. I believe the Levo is 477, whereas the large Crafty R is 490, which is gonna give you a much roomier cockpit up front. Might not be for everybody, but I, personally enjoy it a lot because it provides a lot of extra room on the bike to move around, especially through the technical terrain. Now it's time for some riding, but since I've personally ridden both of these bikes for their full breakdown, I figured it'd be best to get someone else's take. And for that, we're gonna send it on down to San Diego to Will. Andraker Crafty R, test ride one, descent. Here we go, Let's see how this handles. Woo! Yeah. On here is a nice downhill burn right. Get that easy. Down to the left. We do a little mini picker. Yep. Ooh, this bike moves. Here we go. <laughs> 
First slip. Alright, first burn to the right. Nice and easy. Wow, that handled it pretty nicely, huh? Okay, back into the second lap. Come in on the lip. Yeah! That's always fun. Hey, this bike's fast! Woo! <laughs> I love it. Bit of a technical climb here on the Specialized Turbo Levo Alloy Comp. Uh, this is the Bros motor, or Bros A, however you want to call it, bro. Uh, and it's powerful, it's pretty quiet, but it's not as sophisticated as a Bosch system. Meaning, it doesn't require a specific cadence. Um, it just is kind of a grinder, right? This will just get you to the top. Um, and just be okay on the low outputs. But if you hit something and you lose momentum, and you try to get going again, it's not as adaptive as the Bosch system. This will just get up anything as I'm about to show you. No problem. And we're climbing an EMTV. It's my favorite setting for Bosch. It stands for electric mountain bike, as you can see here. And the reason why I like it so much is that it really stays true to the traditional style of riding where the bike only puts out what you put in so i don't feel overpowered when i don't want to be and i conserve on battery it's efficient and really on the technical aspects you don't want to be overpowered to go over the trail so get on the brakes a little bit another little kicker Yo. <laughs> sometimes that burn works, sometimes it doesn't. Wow, this bike is fast. <laughs> this bike really wants to get away from you. Like it usually goes faster than you're expecting or hoping for. Ooh, that might have been the fastest time I've ever done that trail. A little kicker, yo. <laughs> Up, and down, and then, yo. Kicker again. Oh. oh, almost lost it on that last turn. Here we go to the right. All right. Yep. Oh man, this bike's pretty fun. It is cruising. It likes to pick up speed too. Decent handling. This is mullet set up, so they're trying to stay a little bit more nimble on that rear end. But that front 29. Really, will heat up anything. Being that these are two of our best-selling, most popular ENTBs, I think it would be best to settle this showdown by breaking down and explaining who each EMTB is best suited for. Starting with the Crafty, it's Fox 38 up front and overall longer platform when compared to the Levo is going to cater more towards an aggressive rider who is looking for a confident ride, especially at speed. And while it does excel through the technical terrain, the Crafty is still great for someone who is not ready or looking to send it. I've always found the rolling capabilities of a full 29er to be great for entry level riders as they help inspire confidence and control when the trail gets tough. It's also important to note that there are deals to be had on 2022 Crafties that could find you far below that $79.99 retail. Moving over to the Levo, having a shorter platform compared to the Crafty and that mullet wheel setup is going to lend the Levo to have a bit more pep in its step per se when it comes to agility down the trail and through the corners. However, with all of that being said, the Levo can most definitely still handle itself in the hands of an aggressive rider, but with the Fox 36 rhythm up front and the mullet wheel setup, it's much less forgiving than the Crafty with that Fox 38 and full 29er. Now again, since ride and feel are completely subjective and come down to every rider's personal preference, we recommend stopping by to check out both of these bikes for yourself so you can be the judge. For the most up-to-date information, pricing, and deals to be found on both the 2022 Levo Comp Alloy as well as the 2022 Mondraker Crafty R, you can find all of that at the link in the description.
If you enjoyed this video, drop us a like and leave us a comment down below letting us know what you think of the Mondraker Crafty R versus the Specialized Levo Comp Alloy. We would love to hear your opinions. And if you are not already subscribed to the Fly Rides Electric Bikes channel, definitely do so as it will keep you in the loop for more videos exactly like this. So until next time, you know the deal. Enjoy the ride.